Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, it is said that the weight of this lamp is 15 pounds and it is supported by six cards connected together as shown. So we are required to determine the tension in each card. So we have to find the tension in each card and angle theta for equilibrium, right? So we have to find this angle theta. And it is said that this card BC is horizontal right so now what we will do is that we will consider the equilibrium conditions at ring a ring b and ring c right and we will apply the equilibrium conditions that is the summation of forces along x equals to zero and the summation of forces along y equals to zero and let's say that this is our positive x and positive y direction right so first of all we will consider ring a for equilibrium right so now let's say that this is the direction of AC tension. Let's say that this is the tension in AC chord. Let's say this is the tension in AB chord, right? This is given that this is making 60 degrees and this is 45 degrees, right? And the and the tension in this chord will be equal to the weight of this lamp, right? Which is 15 pounds, right? So I will write at ring A and let's say that if we apply the summation of forces along X equals to zero, Right. So as we can see that this AC will have one component which will be acting in this direction. Similarly, this AB will have one component which will be acting in this direction. So this is the cos component of AC. So this is acting in the positive X. So we will write plus AC cos of 45 degrees. This is AC component. Uh, this is the cos component, right? And the angle is 45 degrees. So this is AC cos of 45 degrees minus AB, this is the cos component of AB, so this is AB cos of 60 degree and this will be equal to 0, right? So from this AC force is equal to AB cos of 60 degrees divided by cos of 45 degrees. So from this AC equals to 0.707 AB. Since AC and NAB both are unknown, so AC is in terms of AB. Now, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 at ring A, and if this is our positive direction, right? So, as we can see, that this AC will have sine component which will be acting vertically upward, right? So, we will write plus AC sine of 45 degrees. Similarly, this AB will have one component which will be acting vertically upward, right? So, we will write plus AB sine of 60 degrees, right? And this 15 pounds force is acting vertically downward. So, we will write minus 15 and this is equal to 0. And we can bring this 15 to the other side of equation. So, this will be equal to 15, right? And similarly, AC is in terms of AB, right? So, we can write that this is 0. 707 AB sine of 45 degrees plus AB sine of 60 degrees equal to 15, right? So now we have one unknown, right? So from this we can write that AB equals to if if we take AB common from this, right? So this is AB seven point. 0 0.707 sine of 45 degrees plus sine of 60 degrees equals to 15, right? So from this AB, 10.98 pounds, right? So we will write that this is 10.98 pounds, right? And if AB is 10.98 pounds, so then we can find AC. Right, so AC is equal to 0 0.707 AB and AB is 10.98, right? So from this, AC is 7.76 pounds, right? So we will write that this is 7.76 pound, right? So this is the tension in that AC card. Next, we will consider ring B for equilibrium, right? So then we will consider the free body diagram at ring B and we will consider the equilibrium condition. So then we will have this uh, BC force, right? And we will have this AB force, 
and this BE force, right? So I will write this is BE, this one is BC, and this one is AB, right? So let me write that this is AB, right? So this AB is making 60 degree with the horizontal, right? So if this angle is 60 degrees, so then this angle is also 60 degrees. Right? So again, if we write that at ring B, so now if we apply the summation of forces along Y equals to 0 at ring B, right? So then this BE will have one camera which will be acting vertically upward, right? And this is the sine camera, this angle is 30 degree. So we can write that BE sine of 30 degrees and this is acting in the positive direction. Similarly, this AB will have one camera which will be acting vertically downward, right? And this, this is the sine component of this AB if we consider this 60 degree, right? So then this will be minus AB sine of 60 degrees and AB is known, right? So we can write that AB is 10.98. So 10.98 and this will be equal to 0, right? So from this BE equals to 10.98 sine of 60 degrees divided by sine of 30 degrees. So from this BE force is equal to 19.02 pounds. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 at ring B and if we consider that this is the positive direction. Now as we can see that this BC is acting in the positive direction. So, I will write plus BC. Similarly, this BE has one component which is acting in the negative x direction and this is the cos component. So, we will write minus BE and BE is known, right? So, this is 19.02 cos of 30 degrees and similarly, this AB will have one component which will be acting in the positive x direction and again, this is the cos component. So, we will write plus AB and this is the cos component. So, this is AB cos of 60. AB is known. This is 10.98. So, we will write 10.98 cos of 60 degrees and this will be equal to 0. So, from this BC equals to 19.02 cos of 30 degrees minus 10.98 cos of 60 degrees from this BC equals to 10.98, right? So, this is equal to 10.98 pounds. Now, in this problem, we are required to find this theta, right? And we are also required to find the force in this CD uh, chord, right? So, what we will do is that we will consider that ring C for equilibrium, right? So, then we will draw the free body diagram of this ring C. So, then we will have this CD force, right? Similarly, we will have this BC force and we will have this AB force, right? So, now, uh, this is CD this BC force is known now, which is 10.98, right? So, we will write that this is 10.98 pounds. And similarly, AC force is also known, which is 7.76 from here, right? So, we can write that this is 7.76 pounds, right? So, now we will write that at ring C. So, now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 at ring C and if this is our positive direction. So, as we can see that this CD force will have one component which will be acting vertically upwards and this is the sine component if this is theta, right? So, then this one will be the sine component. So, we can write that this is CD sine of theta, right? And this 7.76 this AC will have component which will be acting vertically downward. So, we will write minus and if this is 45 degrees, so then this is the sine component, right? So, we will write that this is AC sine of 45 degrees and AC is known which is 7.76, right? So, we will write 7.76 sine of 45 degrees and this will be equal to 0. Since CD and theta both are unknown, so we can write that CD sine of theta equals to 
sine of 45 degrees right. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 at j and c and if this is our positive direction. So, now as we can see that this C d will have one component which will be acting in this direction and this is the cos component. So, we will write plus C d cos of theta and this component is acting in the 10.981 this B c force is acting in the negative direction. So, we will write minus B c which is 10.98 and similarly this 7.6 this A c will have one component which will be acting in this direction right and if if this is 45 degrees, so then this is the cos component. So, we will write minus 7.76 cos of 45 degree and this will be equal to 0 right. So, if we take both of these to the other side of equation, so this will become positive and this will become positive as well. So, from this C d cos of theta equals to 16.46. 16.46 pounds right. So, now let us say that this is equation A and let us say this is equation B right. So, now if we divide equation A by B, so then we can write that C d sin of theta divided by C d cos of theta. So, this is 7.76 sin of 45 degrees divided by 16.46 right. So, C d will cancel out. So, sin of theta divided by cos of theta. So, then this is equal to tan theta. So, tan theta equals to 0 0.333 right. So, from this 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 ratio is 0 0.333. So, theta is equal to tan inverse 0 0.333. So, from this theta equals to 18.42 degrees right. So, for this equilibrium this theta need to be 18.42 degrees right. And now to find the force that is that C d. So, then we can use either equation A or equation B right. So, let us say that if I use equation A. So, from equation A this is equation A right. So, C d sin of theta equals to 7.76 sin of 45. So, from this equation A we can write that C d is 7.76 sin of 45 degrees divided by sin of theta. So, now theta is known which is 18.42 right. So, from this C d member force is that the C d chord force or tension is 17.34 pounds right. So, this is the solution of this particular problem.